in this lecture uh, we will see how to find the dtft of signal x of n is equal to del of n plus 2 minus del of n minus 2 these are the two uh, impulse signal which are shifted in order to find out the Fourier transform of the signal we need to use uh, the formula x of e raised to j omega is equal to sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e raised to minus j omega in place of x of n here it is given del of n plus 2 minus del of n minus 2 and uh, the impulse signal del of n is defined as del of n is equal to 1 for n is equal to 0 and 0 if n not equal to 0 that's a general definition for discrete time impulse signal now the signal is different which is given by del of n plus 2 means del of n plus 2 can be written as 1 4 n plus 2 equal to 0 or you can write n is equal to minus 2 and 0 when n not equal to minus 2 means this is a discrete time signal which exists at n is equal to minus 2 so assume that this is a point minus 2 and at n is equal to minus 2 the function magnitude is 1 this is del of n plus 2 here it is n now we'll see uh, what is del of uh, n minus 2 del of n minus 2 can be written as 1 4 n minus 2 equal to 0 or you can write n is equal to 2 and 0 when n not equal to 2 so this is a discrete time signal which exists when n is equal to 2 assume that this is the point n is equal to 2 and this is a signal del of n minus 2 so we got uh, the two signals del of n plus 2 and del of n minus 2 and we understood that we don't want to find the summation from minus infinity to infinity because this signal exists only n is equal to minus 2 and n is equal to 2 means uh, we can write the formula or we can rewrite the formula like this x of e raised to j omega is equal to sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity the signal contain uh, two parts del of n minus 2 minus del of n minus 2 so you can write like this del of n plus 2 into e raised to minus j omega n minus sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity del of n minus 2 into e raised to minus j omega n and now we can simplify this instead of calculating uh, the summation for the entire range we need to calculate this del of n plus 2 signal exists only when n is equal to minus 2 means this term we can evaluate only for n is equal to minus 2 so del of n plus 2 into e raised to minus j omega n when n is equal to minus 2 similarly you can write the second term del of n minus 2 e raised to minus j omega n i can evaluate only for n is equal to plus 2 so del of n plus 2 is equal to 1 when n is equal to minus so I can substitute minus 2 here so I can write e raised to minus into minus plus j omega into 2 minus e raised to minus 2 j omega 
so instead of n I can substitute minus 2 and 2 now uh, we can simplify this uh, term actually so if you compare the general formula of uh, cos theta and sin theta by Euler's theorem or sin theta can be written as e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta by 2 g we compare this term uh, is almost similar but uh, the missing term is 2 j so I can uh, multiply 2 j in numerator and denominator so I can uh, rearrange this equation if you multiply 2 j at the numerator and in the numerator also this term the entire term I can rewrite in terms of sign so the final result becomes 2j sin 2 omega so this is the final result when the signal is del of n plus 2 minus del of n minus 2 the dtft of that signal is 2j sin 2 omega now we will discuss uh, another question uh, which is given by x of n is equal to 0 0.5 raised to n u of n as a causal signal and 2 raised to n into u of minus n minus 1 so now we will see how we can solve these two signals or how we can find out the dtft so again the general formula is x of e raised to j omega is equal to sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e raised to minus j omega in place of uh, x of n I can substitute these terms and I can split also so we can write this x of e raised to j omega is equal to uh, sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity 0.5 raised to n into u of n into e raised to minus j omega n plus sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity 2 raised to n u of minus n minus 1 into e raised to minus j omega n and from the definition of uh, u of n I can understand that uh, the signal uh, u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0 means the waveform will be like this so the signal is from 0 to infinity the function magnitude is 1 so here if you compare uh, with u of n we don't want to calculate it from minus infinity to infinity we need to evaluate the summation from 0 to n sorry 0 to infinity and I can write that so it becomes n is equal to 0 to infinity 0 0.5 and I can group these two terms uh, e raised to minus j omega the whole raised to n so this 0.5 raised to n and e raised to minus j omega n so I am taking as a common uh, now we will discuss how we can uh, check uh, the other part u of minus n minus 1 if you write the definition for u of minus n minus 1 uh, the waveform will be like this u of minus n minus 1 is equal to 1 for minus n minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 and if you rearrange this minus n greater than or equal to 1 and we need in terms of n not in terms of minus n so I can multiply with uh, minus 1 so n becomes less than or equal to minus 1 
and zero otherwise means if n is greater than minus 1 the function magnitude is zero and you can also see the waveform of the particular signal so it will be like this from zero onwards because if n is greater than minus 1 if n is minus 1 and greater than minus 1 means 0 onward 0 to infinity the function magnitude is 0 otherwise 1 means the signal exists from minus infinity to minus 1 ok that is the meaning of this signal so I can uh, write the remaining portion plus sigma n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 2 raised to n e raised to minus j omega n now we need to simplify this in order to simplify uh, the term I need uh, the summation formula which is uh, given by x sigma sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a raised to n I can write it is 1 by 1 minus a similarly if it is from n is equal to 1 to infinity a raised to n I can write a into 1 by 1 minus a but in the question it is given uh, from minus infinity to minus 1 so I need to rewrite uh, this summation in terms of 1 to infinity means I can uh, change the limit from 1 to infinity at the same time this is n so I will change it to minus n here also minus n so the equation becomes uh, sigma n is equal to uh, 0 to infinity 0.5 e raised to minus j omega the whole raised to n plus you can change this limit from n is equal to 1 to infinity if you are changing to 1 to infinity I need to change this n to minus n so 2 raised to minus n e raised to j omega n again uh, you can group these terms so if you write like this uh, sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity 0 0.5 into e raised to minus j omega the whole raised to n plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity 2 raised to minus 1 e raised to j omega the whole raised to n so now we can uh, apply uh, the summation formula a raised to n n is equal to 0 to infinity can be written as 1 by 1 minus a in place of a here it is 0 0.5 e raised to minus g omega and uh, you can apply this formula only when the modulus of a is less than 1 here you can see that 0 0.5 into e raised to minus g omega modulus of e raised to minus g omega is equal to 1 modulus of e raised to minus j omega is equal to 1 so this factor is uh, less than 1 modulus of this factor is less than 1 and now we need to check this part also this is 2 raised to minus 1 so 2 raised to minus 1 means 2 raised to minus 1 means it becomes 1 by 2 so it's 0 0.5 so this part is less than 1 and remaining time is e raised to j omega similarly e raised to j omega is equal to 1 so I can apply the second formula also now uh, I can uh, simplify the term by applying the result so the first thing uh, I can write 1 by 1 minus 
point five e raised to minus j omega plus the second formula I can write point five into e raised to j omega divided by one minus point five e raised to j omega. Now we can simplify this. So I can write 1 minus 0.5 e raised to j omega plus I need to multiply these two terms. So 0.5 e raised to j omega and the next term uh, minus 0.5 e raised to minus j omega into 0.5 e raised to j omega. So if you simplify that you will get uh, e raised to minus j omega e raised to j omega it becomes e raised to 0 and 1 then 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 so you will get uh, 0 0.25 and the lower portion if you find the uh, LCM it becomes uh, 1 minus it becomes 2 cos omega plus 0.25 again I can simplify this if you check this uh, there is a 0 0.5 raised to j omega minus and here it is plus so I can simplify this the remaining term is 1 minus 0 0.25 and the denominator also 1 plus 0.25. So, if I rearrange this, uh, it becomes 0.75 in the numerator, the denominator 1.25 minus 2 cos omega. So, this is the final answer. And uh, in the denominator if you multiply 1 minus uh, 0.5 e raised to minus j omega into 1 minus 0.5 e raised to j omega uh, by Euler's formula you can group if there is a term like this e raised to j theta plus e raised to minus j theta by 2 you can write cos theta based on that we are writing this cos omega.